What's up, guys? This is Focus Motion doing a special uh, live sweat of a final table, the high roller. Um, just before we started recording, I had tens under the gun, about 17 bigs. I shipped it in. I believe. Uh, let's see. Let's take a look. I'll just tell you guys what happened. Um, go back. Uh, yeah. So. Um, sorry about that. Seven called and AC called and I managed to fade. Um, yep, so that was cool. So I tripled, and now I'm second place out of nine, which is nice. Um, as you can see, this table is pretty heavy um, in terms of like competent players. So we kind of have to. Like, I had to play a really, really nitty tag style, like throughout the uh, like the later stages of the tournament, and. Um, I'm gonna fold here. Uh, and it was just bananas. I mean, I had to basically was maintaining a 20 big blind stack for like forever and making some pretty crazy folds and so forth. So, uh, but yeah, we're here. Uh, welcome to a uh, pretty nice final table. Uh, for reference, is Cinco de Mayo. So happy Cinco de Mayo to y'all. And, uh, and so let's see, we have, um, let's see what else, it's uh, 10.45 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, and we're doing it pretty big, we've got 10 versus ace 9, 10s <coughs> hold, if you look around the table also, we'll notice stack sizes, um, the number next to my name, or anybody's name is the, uh, um, the blinds. And the reason why I didn't raise a flat is because the table pretty sh reship happy, and we don't want to be playing with sixes here. Um, if I was in a later position, I probably would have got this guy in. Um, but kind of give you a rundown also. Um, a lot of these dudes that have the shark symbol are like in the 20, 30k winners, so they're doing something right. And uh, don't imagine him opening pretty light. Middle position. Um, circle me. I lose the task on shark scope. Um, Yowza. And, uh, okay. So he's out. Pretty interesting there. Homeless dude just started. Uh, he's like a 1 or 2k winner in the, uh, so far. Not a really big sample. The guys that are kind of heavy hitters are, I don't see right here real quick, it's, uh, uh let's see, uh, let's see here, two, 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 two. um, I think it's, well, just, just in general, these guys here, anyway, so the Decent, I guess, so you can't really spaz out. They'll recognize it. Opening under the gun, I normally would open. It's really kind of a different scenario because kind of like a leveling thing. Like, you know, they know that you know, etc. So it's got to be a little bit more aware of what I'm doing um, versus just randoms at the table. Um, by the way, you got a fellow bot squad member, Sand Pitch, here. For betandrew.com. Uh, let's see what else can we say. Oh yeah, symbols next to the name, in front of the name rather, indicate from holder manager two what um, what they're all about. Like for me, mine says I'm taggish. Uh, let's see, another one would be like this guy here. He's very aggro preflop. Um, so, I think I can represent here a hand. I can try. Let's see what he does. <clears throat> I believe if he calls the nine to the best card for us here. 
so we'll see what's up. And if there's anything else, of course, we're holding. But we really haven't played back on them too much at all, really. Um, so that took it down. Pretty nice pot there. Yeah, so my image, um, I guess, and that's important. My image was very, like I said, tag knit. Um, with hovering 20 big throughout the whole uh, later stages of the, um, I guess, the money bubble and then the final table bubble. They're really knitting it up. Um, just reshipping my 19 big, 20 bigs against somebody to open. Pretty much standard stuff. Maybe a couple squeezes, but all pretty legit. It wasn't spazzing out. Um, yeah. I was <laughs> so hard. Like, I do want to do some three betting and stuff like that. But you got to be aware of the stack sizes too, because if you open, you can just ship it. And, you know, another thing to consider is, like, if you lose and they double their stack, then you're in trouble, <laughs> you know. And I'm not going to be delusional and be like, I'm, you know, a better player than these guys. These guys all have, you know, nice records, nice wins, and all pretty competent. Um, here I'm going to open, and I was going to call a rolling build. I was going to call sand pits. And homeless dude, we got to be careful though. We're gonna definitely see about this board, other flop. Um, a little bit on the uh, under half side, under half pot side bet. Um, he could probably peel us one, or he can pop us. Um, he had a stack to do that, so. Uh, but the better result for us to have him just fold. I mean, pretty good flop for him to do that. And when that is turned around, so we can definitely try it again. <coughs> this time I'm going to make it just a little bit bigger. It looks like I have the jack and I'm trying to get value. And if he had the jack obviously he's going to be doing what he's going to do. Hopefully we can sell that we have the jack. <coughs> and hopefully this folds. I mean he has a nice stack so and he just calls, which is so sick. This is the the <laughs> I don't know why he's pausing there. Um, I don't know why he's pausing there. But we're gonna bet. Any call would check that. Okay, so he basically is trying to just pot control. That's fine. I was, you know, really, one, trying to sell the jack, and then two, the river was nice enough that, uh, you know, we could say that <clears throat> we had the flush, whatever. But he's definitely going to be calling there. I mean, I guess, you know, we could try to bail bigger, but with his stack again, you know, I got to also consider the fact that he has a stack to call, so he's not going to be. You know, I guess it would be one of those spike calls kind of deal, like, oh, you know, river sucks, but I'm going to call anyway. And, uh, that's unfortunate. Unfortunate. Another thing, too, if you, um, I'll go back. Um, he had a nice little flop there. He was basically out of position just pot controlled it. Pot controlled, so that's fine. Um, which now given that we shown that we bailed three times, <laughs> uh, everybody's gonna be like, What just happened? Um so we might be getting action versus now that we didn't before in the past. So uh for sure when we open we're definitely gonna be seeing a lot of um um activity. Let's 
Jack Pan, we're going to fold. Uh, also, another thing too, the, the high roller, we have uh, 15 minute blinds, or 15 minute rounds. So, it's not like we're in dire straits. Um, it did kind of suck that we lost half our stack barreling, but I don't know. I felt like a good boy to barrel. And, like, anything but a jack, really can't call on the river there, so. Don't mind that bet. By this guy, Piago P. Um, almost should open, which would make sense. Can fold. We can definitely ship here. May even ship, but he doesn't. King Deuce, this guy is super short. Thank you. I like that movie. I thought it was. Um. So, <laughs> guy trying to eke up the money ladder. This guy ships. I was in full. I got one break. I'll be back. <clears throat> you guys are back. Uh, Mr. Mr. Sam Pitts had to shove that. Let's have a wide range. <sighs> okay. Fair enough. So keep him low, takes out that guy. Okay, he can argue for three to open here. It's really hard for Sam Pitt to chip because these guys are right here. So he's really got to take that consideration. Really hope if he does call, probably he's going to call it. We get a three. Uh, I mean, obviously, right? Three of Barry, three of whatever. Okay. <clears throat> We're gonna bet again. For normal. And hopefully this time it's a three. I mean he definitely has a stack to repop. He doesn't. Okay. He just Called along. <clears throat> could have whatever. Could have an ace. I mean, not ace, sorry. Could have a king, queen, whatever. We'll just check back. And now we're just going to take this showdown. Um, not much we can do. He had a queen, so. Yeah. Again, you know, we bail. I, I think, given the history, we can't really realistically um, bail optimally again because he's going to just call us. Although it is, you know, a better boy given the fact that his hand is more vulnerable to what he has, so. Definitely trying to keep my stack now at the 20 big stack uh, marker. Um, another reason why I didn't really bail again because it just didn't make any point. He's going to snap us down. And you notice, even though we're at 19 big, we're still 3 out of 7. So we'll see what happens. Queen 4 shooter, we're going to fold. Got a nice little rail going on, 30 people watching. Pretty nice. Okay, get a ship. Pretty much that's what we'll be doing too. Um, Ace Queen, obviously, we're going to be getting it in. Um, 
hopefully this guy opens. And he probably will. Yeah, he does. And yeah, I'm gonna get him right behind him. Cool. There's the queen. Good. Wow. They the queen was nice. <laughs> Let's hold. Cool. We hold. Trip up and looking good. Um, yeah, definitely not liking it, but not folding my ace queen there in that spot. And uh, it was just unfortunate he had the top of his range there of his opening. But yeah, definitely gotta take those spots. Um, you know, and if you're crushed like he had ace king there, then so be it. But you know, we're in a good spot now. Let's try not to squander our second opportunity, uh, our second triple up here at the. Uh, Final, so let's make the most of it. Okay, so good game, Sand Pits. Good game, sir. Alright, <clears throat> 50 bigs, really healthy, no need to get crazy. And the neat thing is, we have a good image, so when we do have the nizzles, we can triple barrel uh, for value and. Uh, and more than likely get looked up. Um, got some shorties here now. We got to keep them low, short. Um, this guy getting short now. Uh, the dice means you're kind of um, loose, ag loose aggressive, kind of laggy. And uh, yeah, so uh, it's kind of true. He's kind of loose aggressive. Uh, Queen seven zero. We will not get crazy with this hand. Um, uh, let's see. And I'm really not going to try to defend against Thomas, dude. And especially when this happens, going to be folding. Going to be folding. Pretty straightforward. Okay. The one thing I noticed that a lot of uh, a lot of the regs. Uh, and if I would like to uh, flat three bets, um, just seems like it's, I don't know, that's what they like to do, and play pots, which is fine, but for me at least it's a leak because I can't, um, I, I mean, I can't play, it's not like I can't play post, but I just don't like playing on position, so I don't like to flat three bets like that, and um, all, the, all that crazy stuff. <clears throat> But also we gotta keep keep in mind too in regards to three betting and all that, like what they're three betting and so forth and, and so on. So let's see what's up. Nine six. Um full to me, I'm gonna take the opportunity to open against homeless dude. Um and if we get shipped on I'm gonna fold. Uh Trying to build a little bit of dynamic between him and I, because you know, there is one big one where we did, I did triple bail there, and uh, so keep things consistent. Four turn oh, we're gonna hold. One thing that kind of sucks is we it's hard for us to open under the gun because homeless dude is on the button, and um, it makes it really difficult. And on top of that, Keep Him Low has a shove stack behind us, and also this guy has a shove stack and all that good stuff. So we really gotta kind of really tighten up our opening ranges, out of position, and so forth. Cream between, cream between is pretty good. This little avatar here means he's a one though high roller. I can open a ton. Yeah, we definitely want to ship, but um, Jack 10, I'll probably ship. Jack 7, though. Um, Queen between, I mean, it's just awkward. This guy has a shove stack. Obviously, with both of us, I think I'm shipping this into him. And see what happens. Pink the ace. Alright, so it's a good game. Keep them low. We're four-handed. 
and we still have the second place standings, but everybody kind of relative in terms of stacks. The only one that really stands apart is the tip leader and the short stack. Tip leader has double um, me and double cream, and then boy has boogie. Same relations to us to here. So basically, the game plan is to uh, really take chips away from each other here and uh, kind of avoid homeless dude and just try to that the idea. But we can play pretty tag. I mean, again, the blinds are relatively long, so they don't. It's a 15 minute, 15 minute level, so it's not like a turbo or urgent to get our, our stacks in like Ponto. And uh, yeah, that's the idea. King 8, we can open. Um, it's four handed, decent hand open. So, I'm not too worried about everything here. Queen Between knows that boy is opening super light. Uh, opening a lot, so he's taking it upon himself to do this, so it's all good. And again, see, again, 3 bet flat. Oh boy. Oh boy. So now, table turned. Queen Between, try to do a stop and go. Pretty elaborate stop and go. But he had, you know, he had an he had, well, in his mind, he had an over plus the, a gutter, and, but in reality, he had like just four outs. Pretty sad. Um, photo there. Let the big blind, small blind, do the dynamics, history, and so forth. And um, yeah, that's the idea. Usually, sometimes you give them, you give, you give the person a spot to exploit or whatever. They're gonna start doing that. So, um, the guy went ahead and do that. They're doing that. So that's good. So basically, our situation now we're just sitting back, relaxing, and uh, not trying to get out of hand. I made the final table the high roller. Maybe I would say. Um, I would say like maybe a month and a half ago and I went to the final table actually in, in decent ch chips I guess I think I had like third whatever but on the very first hand um, I totally messed up and I um, three betted or four betted rather but I didn't see bet and I uh, just basically butchered the hand and I busted in the ninth place which sucked um, so one hand one and done basically on the high roller which really sad but you know it is what it is uh, but hopefully we can make up for it uh, yeah it's obvious queen betweens it's gonna jam here a lot against the boy to open I expect boy to fold a lot um, unless you have a pair so see okay so now with three-handed and this will probably be a, a long one because again as I was saying um, it's a pretty, pretty, um, like, long levels. <clears throat> I'm gonna open my buttons, though. Let's see what happens. Yeah, I definitely expect that to happen a ton. I'm just waiting for it to happen actually. Uh, so, you know, my image isn't like super nit, but it is somewhat nitty, so you know, they will respect my open, but again, they're three handed and so forth and so on. Um, I can four bet here, but it's not exactly hand on four bet because he had the propensity to flat too, so I want to have a hand that has some good um, good value. Even though we are in position to, of course, he does have a stack to stack us, quote unquote. So here, we're going to flat. We have an ace and we can come play a pot in position. <clears throat> um, we're just gonna basically call it down. We're not we're not folding here.
I expect him to bail and then maybe check turn and then bail river. So what we can do is we can, you know, we can call and then, you know, yeah, yeah. We got a show down here. We could bet, but I don't. I don't think he had a queen. I really don't think he had an ace, so we'll just check. Yeah, he had nothing. <clears throat> so, I mean, what I was trying to say was we had a showdown value on the river. And no need to bet. He's going to more than likely fold, but if he doesn't, let's say he tried to, you know, take it away from us, it's an awkward spot. And um, so if we're not 100% sure that we're ahead there, then, you know, it's something that we have to be cognitive of. <clears throat> So it's nice, we get a little fold here. Good stuff. Okay, again, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to flat in position. We're not going to, you know, get crazy with it. And uh, we're going to check back. It's fine. And you just want to go to showdown now. So I, I, I imagine he bets here at the bluff a ton. I imagine he does. But, yeah, that's a good amount. That's a good amount. Uh, I'd want to bet here, raise him, but let it go. Let's keep, you know, let's keep him doing what he's doing, like out of position. It's fine with me. Whatever. Whatever. Here we're we'll trying to do loads of deception. We're gonna try to limp. Try to tarp. Let's see what happens. Um, I'm gonna call it down. <laughs> Sick turn and uh, let him bet one more time. If he has a five, I mean he, may, you know, he may have the five, he may not. But let's just see what he does here. Okay. So we we show him propensity to kind of tarp a little bit, trap a little bit. And if you want to see what he did that with, he had uh, seven deuce. So I imagine we've got some value if we um, we bet river, but that's whatever. Hopefully, home once he folds here, he doesn't end up raising, which is fine. Uh, we can just flat. <coughs> uh, we'll definitely peel one if he bets. But super huge, which is retarded. Uh, betting super huge to me, at least, it, it looks like he's just trying to take the pot. Um, so I guess we could float and then take it away on the river, uh, on the turn. But again, you know, you know, I don't know. I feel like I have a better edge just waiting. That's, I, you know, I know it sounds kind of weird, but I, just have, I feel like I have a better edge just waiting. So, you know, just whatever, you know what I mean? So. Is playing the check check call mode check check you know you know he bets we're gonna call you know he checks he probably can check back here if not uh, we'll call Let's see what he does if he bets like 22 I think it's a bluff this is definitely value I think he has an eight so we'll call it so yeah it was an, it was an eight. So we're gonna fold, you know, kind of preserving our tag image. So, not getting out of hand. Definitely not getting online. <clears throat> Another thing to note too that he uh, we limped, he raised eight six offsuit, which is standard. I mean, somebody limping into the blind versus blind situation, you definitely should be raising, which, you know, it's fine. I have no, I have no problem with that. I'm just playing the nittier, you know, kind of a passive approach to it, because, again, like, I feel, you know, we have a lot of time, you know, these guys are pretty ag aggressive, so, you know, not like a matter of time that they'll just stack off, but it just, it conducive, I guess. This raising is kind of weird. Call, check. 
Uh, he bailed here. Probably don't have it. Call again. Check. Okay, and we're gonna basically call the river. Bet if I get here pretty much all the time. Um, you know, not likely for him to have a queen and that two cards are pretty harmless. So let's see what he had. He had King Ten. So it's slightly away from the men, but cool enough. He might pop it back here, he's kinda irritated. We'll see. We'll see what's up. Yeah, he's a little irritated. Uh, King of Force suited. We can also argue for uh, calling here. We're in position. But, you know, we do have a lot of time. Again, I'm going to stress that a lot. We have a lot of time. We can just definitely wait, wait our time. Bite our time. Here we're going to fold, even though we got great odds. Um, boy, calling there. Kind of weird. Um, maybe Jack Town will probably would complete there, given the odds. Um. Five nine, we're gonna fold. Uh, sooner or later, we're gonna introduce a uh, open blind with the blind against this guy, um, but for now, we're just gonna let it be. Some five O. Again, we're in a flat in position. Um, he could have a clean here, he could have a ten, whatever. Um, but um, I'm sure one. Let's see what it does, but. Okay, we got a full house, which is nice. Uh, hopefully, he has hearts. Any jams? Uh, let's see. Cool. Calls. And he has. What do you think? Uh, yeah, ooh, we could have jammed, it would have called. Hmm. Interesting. I'm surprised he didn't jam himself. Wow. So, we're going to fold. Alright, we're going to open and then call his ship. Nope, he doesn't. Okay, Jack Four, I'm gonna call. I'm gonna fold. We could definitely try to peel and see what happens. And we probably are gonna peel by raising and see what he does. Uh, if you ship free fold, obviously. Okay, so he probably, I don't know, I don't think he had an ace, really, to be honest, but we're going to fold. We have a lot of chips, so.
let it go. King is a knife. Um, okay, we're gonna three X the blinds. Okay. <sighs> Open King Queen. Okay, I'm gonna flat that. Unless he does something. So the game plan is if we flop anything, uh pot control. Um let's see what happens. Uh, in the hindsight, actually, I think we could have not flatted. We could have popped it three bet. I think a three bet would be better. We have more control on the pot. But yeah, I think I think instead of flatting a three bet, it works a lot better. <coughs> Hold. He's king. Hope this guy gets an in. Okay. Um. We're gonna pop it. Hope it's got folds and ships. Cool. Okay, we need a jack or, t or a queen or ace or king. <laughs> or none of that. Okay. Unfortunate. But it is what it is. Fold key and hutch. Thinking about the action. Deep stack pokers. Ace nine opening. The folding. Jack nine. Folding. <clears throat> Turn four. Okay. Fold. Yeah, so pretty clear that the most you know aggressive people are these guys here, or most active, I guess, rather. Well, and more most aggressive, probably too. Fair to say. Fair to say. Open a nine four suited. Um, he pops. Maybe we pop. Maybe depending. I made it really big. Super big. I wonder if he can re steal by shipping it. Yeah, he does, so we're gonna fold. Curious, but I think he's folding. Nope, wow. Unfortunate for him, he had monsters out of the closet. And uh, so, good game, we're headed up now. Uh, uh, 
head up against homeless dude. Okay, open. Deep stock poker at its finest. Um, see what happens. We're gonna build twice on this board, um, but small. So, and then like 13 on the turn. We heads up, which is nice. And uh, let's see what happens. Clean okay, we're gonna open. Okay. Definitely gonna check back to the flop. Uh, maybe not. He he doesn't call a lot, so so we're gonna bet and then just get a free showdown, hopefully, or a free river. Free, um, I mean, we get the maximum fold equity, of course, right? But also, we want to, if he calls, he's gonna um, allow us to see two cards versus you know, all that stuff. Okay, if it's folding, okay. Um, double that, so pop it. Hope you have, uh, you know, kings or queens, obviously. You want to get it in. Okay, we're going to lead. Okay, holds. King 10, open. I think we definitely gotta take our time to uh, timing wise. So it doesn't look like we're super quick on our, our moves. King 10 heads up, definitely a hand to play. Um, but let it go. Uh, worth noting if we double. Pretty cool. <laughs> well, I don't know how else to say that. Yeah, of course, if we double, it's pretty cool. But let's see what's up. Okay, we're gonna take our time. Um, we're gonna just basically take our time when we're opening buttons. Don't want to get them too uh, involved. I mean, folding buttons too, which is nice for us at least. Good, good thing. If it pops it, a six can definitely float, but not float flat. Got an ace, which is nice. So and just check calling in. Okay, I guess he doesn't have it, so we can bet a little bit. Um, definitely allow him to, to whatever call. Okay, here we can check call. I do not think he had clubs. Um, we're definitely calling a bet here. Yeah. So, didn't have clubs there. Interesting enough. But interesting enough, he didn't. He didn't only really bet his ace. So, kind of had a bet for him. Kind of sneaky guy. Fold. Three nine. Um. 
I'll fold one. Then I'm not that we can fold. That one out blatant. I mean, yeah, you're supposed to, like, heads up wide, you're supposed to open every button. But if you show that you can, um, I guess pick, then you're good. We'll check back. Good card for us. Okay, we're gonna bet on the small side and see what's up. He folds. So it looks like we can bet turns a lot now um, in position against him, which is nice. Um, nice to see. So, homeless dude, we shark go for him. He's played 599 games. He's up about 3k or 4k almost. So, we've played a few games. Fold here. Jack 5. We'll go ahead and open. Jackson 5. He decides to raise. Um, fold. It's kind of interesting because if I pop it, like that's close to like half my stack. So, got to be aware of that. And we know we're 50 bigs again, so relatively nice. We're not any dying concerns. Uh, if I get a connector, I'm going to 3-bet in the blinds. Like, something connected. Um, pairs, obviously. Um, yeah. Okay, this might be an action flop here. We're definitely going to check this back. Uh, we'd, heads up, we'd probably check back on H2 anyway. Um, and let's see what happens. We may peel one here, or we may not, but to get a free showdown, I think we have to bet. And it may, it may even look like we have an ace here, the way we did it. Um, okay, so he decided to call. Um, here I put him on exactly a 10, and he's, again, given our history, he's going to be calling here a ton, so... Yeah. Oh, yeah, Nate. So, he caught, he caught the turn. Good for him. So we'll hold. Yeah, he's never folding either. Too bad we didn't get clubs. Could have been game over. <sighs> yeah, again, once the guy calls turn, can't really bail. I mean, I don't even think, yeah. Uh, So, the neat thing is, even though stock size-wise, he looks it looks pretty big, um, pretty deep. The neat thing is, um, the neat thing is, uh, um, with stock uh, blind-wise, we're pretty deep. Here he calls. I mean, he could be floating us, whatever. So, we'll check and we'll just give up here. A ton. ton. Calls with six. I had a feeling he'd be doing that a lot. Yeah, okay. So back to the grinding board. So it kind of grinding down a little bit. We're not in too bad of a spot. We uh, definitely can definitely uh, double up a big spot. So, let's see what happens. Calls. See what happens. Folds. Threes. Hopefully, he raises. We can set mine, or that's a good result, too. Five, three, oh, we're going to fold. Not even gonna mess with that. 
Clean hand, we can defend. Uh, check. Okay, I'm going to check back. Hold it. Queen nine. My best friend, Mike, favorite hand, and my brother, favorite hand. Um, just raising it to raise. Okay. Now, you guys remember, I bet turn with the ace. So, Let's see what happens. I have a feeling he's going to be calling a ton here. Yeah, I don't know why. I just have a feeling he's, like he's going to call a lot. You, a clean high may be good here, too. So, you know, when we bet, um, he calls and we still have good showdown value. I mean, it could very well be, you know, good. Okay. Here we're gonna bail twice. This is the bail twice deal. We're gonna make it 16 or 17 on the turn. Um, start the call. Uh, actually, you know what? I was gonna, I was gonna bail twice, but you know what? I'm just gonna check back. I'm gonna check back now. Looks like <laughs> it's so sick. I think he either had a five or a king. Actually, not take back. I think he had a five, and we can't even bail him off. It's so sad. It's high. Okay. I guess we could have bailed it, but it's cool. It's cool. Check. Check, 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 check. Okay, you're gonna fold. Ian Hutch. I will say a lot of, um, a lot of, uh, my, I guess my forte is push folding, so, um, deep stack heads up kinda out of my element. I'm more used to the turbos and the, the you know, ship, reship. Etc. Um, I'm gonna fly here. Yeah, this kind of sucks. This is a really sucky spot here. Hopefully, you turn some equity. Okay, I guess not. Um, let's check that. Yeah, it's gonna show down. Tens, nice. Nice. So three betting with legit hands, and we're going grinded to the fault. But right now we're in the shove territory mode. Um, if he ships, not necessarily we're gonna ship back, but we'll see what's up. All right. He pops, we're gonna ship, age 10. Oh, uh, he doesn't. He thinks about it. Sneaky. Okay. We're gonna do like we normally do. Bet. And uh, we're gonna call off, too. Oh! King 6. Uh, we're gonna shift in. Hard for him to call with, I mean, except premiums, really. Um, yeah, it's really hard for him to call. Because if we double up, come back where we started. Okay, he called with Jack 10. Okay, well, that's a good game, us. Um, 
Yeah, it kind of sucks. Took second in the high roller. But, you know, it is what it is. Um, yep. Let's see here.